YouTube on a community, people who enjoy cassette boomboxes, random people on the internet. My name is Giggins, and we're going to do something a little bit different today, starting off a new series of tech reviews where I talk about different gear and see whether or not it's cool or what it does or what I like or don't like about it. Um, and just kind of go from there. I just want to change a little bit up with the channel, do something a little bit different, and see what you guys think. So, Today we're going to talk about a cassette boombox by Jensen. Um, Jensen's been around for a million years. This is a cassette boombox that I got from Target. Um, wasn't too expensive, but the purpose of this was to serve as something to have at my desk at work. Um, there's times where I can play music at my desk at work, and I thought about maybe I can make mixtapes and bring them with me to work and just have that on in the background. Um, for a while I actually brought in a tiny turntable that had speakers built into the top of it. Um, a nice little setup made by Ion. Not the greatest sounding thing in the world, but it did the job at low volume, it sounded fine, and I played records that I didn't really care about because I know the cartridge and the arm weight were like super heavy on it, so, you know, mostly Goodwill records or um, charity shops, I guess they'd call them in the UK, so that kind of stuff. But I was like, you know what, let's go up a bit, I can get kind of, you know, make my own mixes, you know, I'm wearing my boombox t-shirt for this video here, I was like, let's talk about this thing, let's pick one up. Um, I've been on the search for a decent used one for a long time now with um, you know one speaker and then the tape deck on the other side maybe a dial up top you know older stuff from the 70s and 80s early 90s and I found a few over time and I've tried repairing them because they didn't work and I'll be posting these failed videos pretty soon of me trying to fix uh, boom boxes fixing turntables no problem I could do that stuff boom boxes are apparently a bit out of my range so this is it this is the Jensen boombox here, a simple little guy, you know, it's got a CD player on top, tape deck, it's got an aux input, it's got radio, so not a bad little setup here. The reviews on it online were decent, you know, moderate to, this might be kind of crap, to, this is pretty good. Um, so I'm not expecting too much, so this is a sealed to revealed unboxing video, if you will. Um, here we are, power cord, pretty basic fare, and the actual boombox itself here is, uh, Pretty well packaged, styrofoam on the sides, nice job. Let's pull this thing out. All right, put that down right there. And you got the instruction manual, which is always nice. Pretty well wrapped up. This is a solid little player. It's got some good weight to it. Get your speaker grills there. Might be a little dent there on one of them actually. Oh, that's the that's the look. It's <laughs> a little bit of an indent there. All right, so let's open this thing up. See what we got. This is the part of the video where I'm making lots of noise. It's got a handle on it. Cool. It takes batteries. You can plug it into the wall. All right. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little player. It's got a sticker on the bottom that says manufactured in October 2018. So dig this thing. Not too bad. You get your tape deck in the front. Where's the eject button? It should be right there. Ooh, they weren't getting about that soft eject. That's nice. Um, looks like we got looks like we got one head and the top, a couple of rollers. So it's not like a dual head thing and Obviously, there's no Dolby or anything on this thing, but I wasn't expecting too much anyway. Um, you get your tuner over here. On the back, you get your aux in and your headphone jack, and then your input for the plug. But overall, a solid little player. So what do you do with this? You just open that up like that, and then you got a little little sheet in here. Let me pull this out. This is the old school stuff. No. Remove this card before use. I would hope so. Um, and that's all it says. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Looks pretty solid. So just close that down, open that up. Got it. Done. You can record with this thing. Um, you can program it. You've got a play and pause button for the CD stuff. you got some nice rubbery padded feet down here. Well, the, the, the legs are plastic, but the feet are, are uh, rubber. And then you got your battery input here. Very cool. So, what we're gonna do is put a tape inside this thing and see exactly what it sounds like. Um, I got the cassette player set up here and we're gonna take a listen to a song that probably all of us know. So, it's gonna be something slightly familiar but only play like 10 seconds of it. 
It's Gonna Be the Wonders, That Thing You Do, from one of the greatest movies of all time. It's a single, so it's just one song. Well, Psy 2 has the classic Voyage Around the Moon, but um, let's give this thing a listen here. So, opening up. Definitely loud enough. It sounds pretty good, actually. I'm kind of surprised. So that's Voyage Around the Moon. Let's flip it over and do the uh, the song we all know. And we'll only play a couple seconds of it. Maybe. Well, let's test out the fast forward button. Seems to work fine. That's enough of that. Yeah, doesn't sound too bad. I mean, obviously it's not going to be, you know, this gigantic sounding boombox thing because it's a pretty small little unit, but it does get the point across pretty well. So um, I'm kind of impressed by it. I can't wait to play a whole thing on this, but for a first impression, um, really not bad. Kind of excited to keep this at my desk at work. So with that, uh, I'm going to take it back to my original sitting spot over there. So yeah, overall, first impressions, I'm actually pretty solidly impressed. Um, one thing I forgot to show at the front of the video was your controls. So you got your knob, your volume knob here, and then right here, the furthest over you go is off slash tape. One end is CD slash aux. Keep going, FM, keep going, AM. So it takes C batteries, by the way. Um, it's a substantial little unit here. I didn't get good radio, radio reception just because where I live, radio reception is kind of fuzzy. But um, overall... I'm pretty impressed. I like the small size of this. It won't take up a whole lot of room on my desk at work. And the size of it for what I'm going to use it for, uh, or the sound of it rather, for what I'm going to use it for, seems to be perfect. So if you're looking for, you know, high-end audio fidelity, you're not going to want to find something that came in a box for, I think I paid 30 bucks for this thing at Target. That's something you're going to go for something that's probably closer to 75 to to $100 for, probably on eBay. Um, for some really old school stuff from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Some of the best tape decks come from the 90s, where at that point they pretty much, you know, figured out Dolby, NR, Dolby B, C, you name it, all the good stuff. Um, that really makes an impact on how a tape can sound. So my Technics tape deck back there is from about 1983, and it sounds absolutely amazing because it's got Dolby on there. It's just one of those things where just you got a Dolby tape, you got a Dolby tape player, pop it in, you'll hear things that sound just as good, if not better, sometimes in a CD. So it really depends on what you play. But um, with this thing in particular, you know, giving this a score out of 10, just for the use, the size, what it sounded like, just of a very quick first impression before I play an actual tape on here, just fall all the way through. Um, I'm really kind of surprised by this thing. So I'm going to give this thing like an 8 out of 10. It's really not too bad. Um, if you want something small, and just gets the job done. It's not going to blow you away, but it sounds pretty decent. Um, can't go wrong with this guy. So that's it. My name is Giggins. This has been uh, Tech Reviews with the Jensen Portable. I think the box called it Portable CD Player slash Boombox slash Tape Deck slash Aux. It had a bunch of stuff on there. So um, that's it. So let me know what you guys think of watching Tech Reviews and if you want some more. So that's it. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Actually, before we go, I want to make a mention that I, as I finished up wrapping this video, I did want to play a CD and I wanted to play more of a tape, just to kind of add that to the video and see exactly what I thought about that experience. So I put on a cassette tape that had, you know, was riddled with Dolby. <laughs> wanted to see exactly what it would sound. Obviously, it's not going to sound perfect, but um, playing a tape the whole way through did had a, it did the, the, the peaky thing, where sometimes it'd be like super clean and sometimes it'd be kind of fuzzy and super clean and kind of fuzzy. So. Playing the tape all the way through did have its, you know, kind of ups and downs. Playing a CD a little bit, um, that did sound better, but again, it was more, more of the thing where there's like some really high trebly parts and then some of the mids were a bit muffled. Um, so that just could be because of the speakers themselves, but um, overall, not bad. One thing I did notice with the cassette player as well is that there's a lot of whirring sounds. It's kind of a loud machine as it starts to play the tape. So if that's something that kind of bugs you, um, be wary of that. So my original score, I gave it an 8, I think. I'd probably give this thing maybe a 6, maybe a little bit lower. Um, it gets the job done. It sounds okay. 
Um, you know, it's not going to blow your mind or anything, but for 30 bucks at Target, um, really not bad. It gets the job done. For what I'm going to use it for, having it at work on my desk, it's not something I'm going to worry about keeping there overnight or whatever. So I could bring in my mixtapes, I could bring in a mixed CD and just have my music on as I do my job. So with that, just wanted to put that little uh, bit at the end here to kind of let you know what I thought after having played more of this thing and um, kind of my thoughts. So that's it. So yeah. yeah, have you guys used this thing? What do you think of it? Oh, there it is. There it is right behind me there. So that's it. I'm going to give this thing like a six. It's really not bad. It's definitely like an introductory player. You know, if it's like your first boombox ever, that's probably a decent boombox to have. Um, you'll want to upgrade at some point, but if you want something small to have in the office or to have around the house or if you're in a small apartment um, It's really not too bad. So that's it. My name is Giggins. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tech reviews video. Bye. Bye